it's opening on my other computer. So we're soon going to see this bit over here on the right change. And it just did. So my backup email address for that computer is software at. So right now, I see that this QuickBooks file, my client or my accountant, depending on which role you are, my opposite person is using the QuickBooks file. So this works really well in cases where you have multiple people who need to access the QuickBooks, or in cases like myself, where it's just me and I, I don't have anybody else who needs to access my internal files, but I want them to be available across two computers. So I, I have the Mac, which is fantastic, but kind of bulky. And then I have a little tiny Windows computer that I take with me when I'm, you know, wandering around, which in this case looks more like working in the yard and less like going to a client's office or traveling. So let me show you what it looks like when I try to open up this QuickBooks file. So right now to the right, I can see locked by. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. So I'm going to enter my credentials. Here it is. It says could not be locked. Software has locked the file. So really, you're not going to use names such as software. You're going to have names such as person's first name or accounting or tax guy or, you know, whatever the case is. But you, you can quickly see if you didn't happen to notice here, if you didn't happen to notice here that the file is in use, you'll definitely notice it here when the pop-up appears. If you ignore the pop-up and you just start working on stuff, this pop-up will reappear in five or ten minutes or something. I haven't really timed it, but I know that it'll reappear. So it's nice because if my client is working on the QuickBooks, but they've emailed and asked me a question, and they say, oh, how do I get to this thing? Or why doesn't this work? I can pop into their QuickBooks, even though they're working on it. I can look and see what's going on, and I can respond to their email with an answer or some instructions or a screenshot or whatever it is that I need or want to do. So hopefully this helps. Um, I do want to show you one more thing. So I'm going to take you back to the QBox screen. One of the things I like is that if you're setting this up um, for your client or you're setting it up and you're sharing it with your accountant, the second person only needs to download QBox and your files will magically appear for them. So they don't need to do anything. So I've got company A here. I'm going to go over to my Windows computer. I'm going to add a folder and then I'm going to copy and paste contents into that folder and we'll see it magically appear here in my Mac so I'm just pretending to be two people as I do this. I'm just going to add a folder called Company B. I really want you to notice that I'm not changing anything on my Mac. My Mac is just going to update with this information. So you can see Company B is now there. Into the Company B file folder, I'm going to copy and paste a QuickBooks file. I'm doing that because I want you to see what it looks like. So imagine that you've set up QBox and you've put your QuickBooks file in there and now you'd like to invite somebody else on your team. So maybe your assistant is going to help you with some stuff or you and have an in-house bookkeeper or you're sharing the QBox with your accountant. Maybe you're the accountant sharing it with your client. You can say, you know what, I'm going to get everything set up. All you have to do is download the QBox software and everything you need will automatically be there. So with my mouse, I did change and I... I selected Company B's file folder because I wanted you to see this. You can now see that the data file, Rachel Enterprise Sample, has already loaded up. So that's what I really like about QBox. It's incredibly easy to use. It's just a, a, a way to host and share your file. The file lives on your C drive. So let me show you what that looks like and then I'll let you go. I'm going to go File, Close Company. And I'm doing this so you can see where the file is hosted. So right here, you can see the location path. It says Mac Home Documents, QBox, General Frog, Internal, right? We saw that folder. And then Sample File, we saw that folder. So this still lives on the equivalent of my C drive, right? It still lives on my computer, but it's also backed up into the cloud. So if this video is helpful, I'd really appreciate a like or a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, I don't work for QBox, so if there are technical questions or comments, QBox support is really amazing. 
this video was just put together because I was part of an accounting discussion the other day and everybody was pitching in their ideas of here's how I've been working with my desktop clients. Here's how we're working remotely so that everyone still gets the support they need and everything continues to work seamlessly. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. If you have any ideas for future videos, please let me know. I'm happy to create them. If you would like to schedule any time with me, I'm more than happy to do that. You can reach me, Rachel, at gentlefrog.com. My website is gentlefrog.com. Thank you so much.